do. You wouldn't believe what I was going to eat for breakfast this morning. Corn flakes. Flakes of corn. Looks like this. I decided to get inside this box. I'm going to see what it is because when I get up in the morning, it's like my favorite thing to do. What? <laughs> and it's like so hard to open, you know what I mean? But I'm like, I'm like super strong, so I can open up that bag. I wonder what would happen if I took some of this stuff, these flakes of corn, and I did something with it using science. Because science is when you just have questions about stuff. I wonder if I took some of those things and I moved that to the side. And I thought about what would happen if I did different things. I got a little bit of this colorful rice, magic rice. I got these graham crackers, They're a little bit sweet, a little bit of honey on there. This thing, I think they call it a cheese bunny, cheddar bunny if you're cool. This thing, fish stick. Some people think it looks like chicken, tastes like chicken, it's not chicken. It's actually quite malleable, science word. And then there are these things, crunchy, little tiny flakes of corn that I got out of the box. So let's do something. Let's do some science. We could take these things and we could break them up and that would be cool. That's interesting. We could take these things and we could lick them. I don't really like the flavor that's not really good. We could take these things and we could just try to form a nice little circle. Or we could try to squeeze them up and crush them in the dust. Didn't really work. But there's this liquid, there's this thing that you have at your house. It looks like this. It's like super interesting. It moves around. It's not a solid, it's not a gas. It's a liquid. Some people call it H2O. Some people call it water. Sometimes you find it in lakes, it comes out of the clouds. A little bit of this sometimes you like to drink when you're a little bit thirsty. Or you give it to your dog when they've been running for a while. I wonder what would happen if we put this stuff inside some cups of water. Let's see. And one of the things that's been on my mind, I don't know about you kids, but I've been thinking about this. Sometimes, when I'm getting ready to make a big bowl of cereal, and I take out my cereal, and I pour it on the bowl like this, and then I add lots of water to it, and I get out my spoon, and I get ready to eat it, but then somebody calls my name. Wing, wing, wing. Hey, yeah, it's me. Oh, you want me to clean my room? Okay. And then I come back, the cereal looks and feels different. I wonder why when I put milk or water in my cereal, it looks different. I have a question. Let's use science and figure it out. So, we're gonna take some water that looks like this, and we're gonna add it to each of these components, and then my trusty media person is going to record a video about what happens. Should I pour a little bit or a lot? Always a lot. Now, we might pause the video for a minute because we have one, two, three, four, five, six different experiments. I wonder which one will absorb the most water. Don't worry if you don't know that word. By the end of this experiment, you'll understand. Sometimes water likes to go inside and we're gonna figure out today why our cereal gets so soggy and compare it to each of these other things. Something you probably have always wanted at home yourself. We're gonna do it, KSL style. Questions, we got answers. now and we have our corn flakes
really soupy. For Cheddar Bunny. Giant. So I like Jumbo Chips. Got a Graham Cracker. still in this cup. I would say it looks unappetizing now. And we have our green marbles. It's a pretty hard. 